I think it's so interesting that after your godson mm. committed suicide in 2020, you said, I got to do something. I can't mm. let this happen again. Mm. And you're reaching out and doing this, this book, The Invisible Ache with Dr. Robin, is mm. your is your testimony in a in, in That's a, exactly what it is. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you hope to come from this? I, I hope that young people, you know, I, I know it at, at our children's, you know, that's happening all over the country, all over the world, that young people are taking themselves, are making this decision. And, you know, uh, you know, the, the, what happened with my father of finding the family who was looking for they him. They were looking for him. You know, and if you would just, if you could just hold on. Just hold just, on. Hold on, you don't know what tomorrow is going to be. This is a sacred thing. It's a holy thing, yeah. this life. Life is sacred. It's a blessing. I know there's, there's and it's a journey. And some yeah. days are, are fraught. That's why it's so important to have your, your routine of, and things that you know you can do that yeah. give you joy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, finding joy as we all. Finding joy, and there's a, the acronym for HOPE is Hold On Pain Ends. Mm. Because often when someone dies by suicide, they think the pain will never end except for by death. Mm. And so if we can hold I on. Love that. Hold on. on pain ends. Pain and it does ends. not have to be through death. It can be through the liberation mm. of being called to the floor mm. of your own life.